Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6. We're going to be going over some stuff that has been potentially leaked and that could potentially be spoilers. Also a lot of theorizing in this video, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year and also mainly to do with Supergirl's final season because you don't want to miss any of these videos because we're going to be doing them all year round and into next year and we get to the final season premiering. Okay, so in today's video we're going to be talking about the Legion of Superheroes and a potential spoiler from Jesse Rath. And so we'll go over that and some theories to do with the Legion ring that is in the fortress because when I saw the leak or potential leak from Jesse Rath, my mind went back to another thing. And that was the Legion ring in the fortress because we've never had that explained and considering there is a Legion-like story and we'll get to that, but that is being planned this season and considering that people are theorizing that Kara is going to go off at the end of the show to join the Legion in the future, I think it's very relevant to visit that Legion ring that has never been answered. So what did Jesse do? So on I think his Instagram story, he released a photo and I'll have the photo on the screen right now. And this photo contains a look at the old Legion of Superheroes chair. And so this got people asking, why has he got a photo that he's just posted? Obviously he took it because, you know, they're on set at the moment. So they were digging up through storage and stuff. But why would he personally be going through storage unless they were setting something up? So this has led people to believe and, you know, me as well. Are we going to see the Legion ship again and why has he come across this? So Jesse in his defense says, guys, that was just a picture of my old chair. I found, wasn't hinting at anything, just me flirting with Chris, by Chris he means Chris Wood. So that was him coming to his defense of that Instagram story. However, I think it's a bit weird that he may be going through storage by himself. Like, why is he doing that? Was he just interested and wanted to post it? Or did he just come across it and wanted to post it because, you know, he thought he was cool and he would be able to, you know, play around with Chris? However, I ask you to question that because it seems kind of unlikely that he's going to be personally going through the storage unless there was something they were actually going to do with it, right? So at the same time, I got two sides of me. I'm like, hmm, this is a bit fishy. Like what happens if they're actually doing something with the Legion ship? But at the same time, I do believe Jesse and I don't think he's lying by any means. So I'm conflicted. Is this real? Are we going to see it? Are we not? But let's move on to talk about the Legion ring from the fortress. So the question is, how did the Legion ring, that specific one, end up in the fortress of solitude? And so I'm going to go over my theories. I have a whole bunch of theories and I have stuff to back it up. So number one, my number one theory, well, not in terms of like, oh, I think this is the most likely. I mean, just the first one that I'm presenting to you is it came from the future and it was placed there in the past. So in the way that Ara or Superman, you know, Clark, they didn't place it there. It was placed by someone else who is from the future. Obviously the Legion is founded in the future, so obviously it's going to come from the future. However, I'm not talking about Kara and Clark bringing it back. I mean, a future version of them could have done it. That is definitely possible, but it could have been a future Legionnaire that came back, placed the Legion ring there for a specific event coming up in our current future and obviously the Legion has passed. So that's my theory number one because I think that is very likely and lots of you have been thinking about that and we've been theorizing about this for a while now like many years because it's never been explained and so my second theory is this Superman had it in the past but the big question here would be but how does he know the Legion exists? And he probably doesn't know the Legion exists because he hasn't referenced that at all yet. But backing up my first point, what happens if it was a future version of Superman that say at the end of Superman and Lois, he goes off and he's a part of the Legion of Superheroes or maybe the Legion takes a part, you know, in his show and maybe he actually joins them at some point. So he could have come back from the future and he could have placed it there for Kara or someone or maybe a younger version of himself to use it in the past. So that's a plausible theory, not the most likely. So let's move on to number three. It was just there. And Supergirl will take it and go be a legionnaire in the future. 
But then you may be asking, but why is it a different style Legion ring? Why would that be the case? Let's just quickly answer that first bit. So it was just there and it's always been there for a very, very long time. I don't think Superman placed it there himself. Like he didn't just make it and place it there. Someone definitely brought it back from the future. That is for certain. And so I think Supergirl will probably take it at some point, although she has the Legionnaire ring, but this one might be even more special in a way. I don't know, I just kind of get that feeling that she's going to take it at some point. If we see that on the show, or like if that's the continuity after the show, that would be very interesting to see. So she may be a Legionnaire in the future. She comes back, brings it back, and so let's move on to the style with the Legion ring. Why is it different? So honestly, the straight answer we can give, and it's probably the truth, is that they just wanted to redesign the Legion ring when they properly introduced the Legion of Superheroes. So originally when we first saw it back, you know, in the first few seasons, maybe they weren't expecting to have a Legion storyline. And I believe at first it was probably just an Easter egg that they put in inside the fortress. Well, it definitely was an Easter egg. So I think they kind of ignored it. And when they created the Legion of Superheroes for real on the show, bringing back one l bringing Imra, Brainy into the fold, and I think they just redesigned the ring and they kind of forgot about it because it was a while ago before season 3 actually aired, and I think they're aware that it was different, but at the same time I don't think they really cared that much, and so I think they just ignored the old one and created a new cool ring because they're very different, but again, continuity on the show maybe isn't the best in the Arrowverse, However, there is normally a reason for lots of stuff and that's why it's very valid to theorize about things because a lot of things do get revisited and this definitely has a chance this season to be revisited. And so another reason would be that it might be a different iteration of the Legion, so you know, with a different ring essentially, say in the past or like a future future version of the team that are like generations ahead of mon and Imra and everyone up there in the 31st century where they are currently so maybe this ring is the future for them like way into the future and maybe it's like an ancestor or something that comes back and brings this redesigned legion ring to the fortress of solitude i think that's a very acceptable theory and i think if anything if we're ever going to get an answer to do with this it's going to be that this is like a different iteration of legion of superheroes and that's why there is a different ring Let's move on to the final few things and I want to talk about this because Jesse recently confirmed that a storyline this season is going to be Legion-like. It's going to be centered around something that is similar to the essence of what the Legion of Superheroes is and I'm guessing what it was like in season 3. So that's really intriguing to me and I can't wait for it. And it isn't necessarily a proper Legionnaire tale. But just the fact that it's Legion-like adds to the idea that Kara will maybe join the Legionnaires in the future, in the 31st century, and leave the present day. That adds fuel to the fire about Supergirl's ending and how people were theorizing that Supergirl will end. I've talked about this. There is three options, I think. Supergirl dies a hero. I don't think it's very likely. The other option is she moves away to like Midvale or something. And I think the other option is she goes to the 31st century with Monel, joins the Legion of Superheroes. So that is a big theory currently right now. And just the fact that there is going to be a Legion like story and the fact that Jesse is taking pictures of a Legion of Superheroes ship chair. I mean, all the signs are pointing in one direction. And I feel like maybe, just maybe, we will see some more of the Legion of Superheroes, or at least Kara's gonna go there at some point towards the end of the season. So what do you guys think about that? I think it's very, very possible. I think all the theories that we've gone over can definitely happen. We'll just have to wait and see if they do. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out all my recent videos. I did a live stream. I'm gonna be starting to do more live streams. They're gonna be week by week. I'm gonna change the day. I did it on Wednesday this week potentially is going to be a weekend live stream. I've got the idea that I'm going to try and do that, but we'll have to wait and see. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really supports the channel and also share it around on social media as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.